Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk to you guys about the Magic School Bus. Uh, the problem with books like the Magic School Bus is that they are science oriented and not really story oriented. So if you give this to students who need to do a book report, the book report is going to sound a little strange because it's not like something really happens in the story. Their adventure is more about just a way of putting together information so it's a little more interesting than just telling you about whichever science they are exploring. So when it comes to books like this, I would recommend changing the format from a book report to a kind of a science, kind of a science essay, a short science essay. So write about new information that you received, write some words that you didn't know, try to find a way to explain the story so that the information gets across. And there they can talk about different parts of the body that they learned about. I don't recommend using these kinds of books unless your student is excited about science and that's their main focus. Uh, because they don't make for good fiction, so you would want a natural science report. You could even ask your students to do something like, all right, we'll make a, you know, a poster about the skeleton and then use the information from the book. I'm going to read to you a little bit from it uh, so you get an idea of the text. All right. I'm going to be a vampire, Ralphie said. I'm going to be a mermaid, Wanda said. I'm going to be a bunch of grapes, Arnold said. What about you, DA? It's a secret, I said. I want to surprise everybody. We were talking about our costumes for Halloween. It was just a few days away, and we could hardly wait to get dressed up. Little did we know that all our plans were about to fly out the window. The adventure began when Mrs. Frizzle walked in wearing a dress with tiny bones all over it. She was carrying a large orange carton. Something long, green, and scaly was stretched out across the box. Nobody was scared. It was only Lizzie, Mrs. Frizzle's pet lizard. Good morning, class, the, the frizz sang out. As you know, it's nearly Halloween. To celebrate, I thought we could have an early Halloween party this afternoon. But we don't have our costumes, Tim said. Not to worry, Tim. I've brought special costumes that will get us all in the mood, Mrs. Frizzle said. Plus, these costumes are a perfect fit for our new science unit. I was curious about the new science unit. Science is one of my best subjects. I always carry a science notebook so I can write down all the facts I learn. I was curious about what was in the box, too. Liz had climbed off, and I could see big black letters across the top. Hugh Mann's Costume Company, made in the USA. Class, we're about to get down to the bare bones, Ms. Frizzle announced. She opened the box and reached inside. As you can see, our new unit will be about skeletons, we all called out as she held up the ne neatest skeleton costume I had ever seen. Already you can tell that this has a lot of little puns in it. When it comes to puns and humor, in this case, I wasn't too worried about it. I think they can just understand from context. It's not going to be funny. That's fine. They don't, they don't need it to be funny. But I don't, even if they don't understand bare bones, I don't think that it changes your ability to understand the nature of the story. Um.